everyone welcome back to our video on internet group management protocol or igmp in today's internet work world communication between devices is crucial and igmp plays a vital role in managing multicast traffic within a network let's first get into know that what is igmp this internet group management protocol is a protocol that allows several devices to share one ip address so they can all receive the same data it's like kind of a chat group where specific people can receive and send the messages between each other only then that message will not be sent to the all of the other people igmp is a network layer protocol used to set up a multicasting on network that use the internet protocol version 4 here now on the screen you can see that how these routers are working for igmp for their local network so specifically if, if we can say igmp allows devices to join a multicasting group okay so since igmp being used for multicasting then let's look into this little bit so the term of communication which comes is like unicast multicast anycast or broadcast unicasting means in this the communication will be one to one example like a walkie talkie device then multicast so in multicast the communication will be from one to many or to a specific devices which is part of multicast network or multicast group as an example uh, is audio or video conferencing then we have anycast and broadcast anycast or broadcast same thing now anycast or broadcast is something where the information sent to everyone and we can take TV, radio or public announcement as broadcast example. Okay, so moving on. Here we have a multicasting router and these are the devices who have joined the multicast group. We have a router, we have PCs, we have switch, we have a cloud network also. So that summarizes it. When a device want to receive multicast traffic, it joins a specific multicast group by sending a IGMP report messages to its local network. The router uses this information to forward multicast traffic only to the devices that are part of the particular multicast group, which reducing unnecessary network traffic. And multicast IP addresses have some range which is from 224.0.0.0 to 239.255.255.255 okay so now moving on there are some igmp messages that being allowed in igmp protocol like membership report the first one so devices send this report to a multicast router in order to become a member of a multicast group then we have leave group message this message go from a device to a router and allow devices to leave a multicast group here then we have general membership query a multicast capable router send out these messages to the entire connected network of devices to update multicast group membership for all group on the network basically then the group specific membership queries this the router send these messages to a specific multicast group instead of the entire network in a company. Also devices who are part of multicast group can change at any time they want. Any device can send an IGMP join group or leave group message at any point. Okay, so now moving on and let's look into the IGMP packet format at first we have the igmp version 1 and it was developed in 1989 at stanford university and this igmp version 1 packet format include the version which is set to 0 since it is a version 1 then type 1 for host membership query and membership report query then we have this unused section this is 8 bit of 0 which are of no use here then the checksum so it is the ones complement of the sum of igmp messages here that provides the error check then the group address the group address field is zero when sent and ignored when received 
in membership query messages in a membership report message the group address field takes the ip host group address of the group which is being reported so this is version 1 now let's moving on to version 2 igmp version 2 so this version is the revised version of igmp version 1 as you know and the communication protocol got introduced in 1997 it was added a functionality of leaving the multicast group using group membership and that's the message format of igmp version 2 under the igmp version 2 we got few additional functionality like max report response time max response time this field is ignored for messages type other than membership query so for membership query type it is the maximum time allowed before sending a response report the value is in unit of 0 0.1 seconds then we have checksum so it is one of the complement of the sum of igmp message it determine the entire payload of the ip datagram in which igmp message is encapsulated then we have the group address it is set as zero when sending a general query otherwise multicast address for group specific or source specific queries so the behavior of this field depend on the type of message segment now moving on we have version 3 version 3 was introduced in 2002 and added source specific multicast and membership report aggregation here these reports are sent to 224.0.0.22 and this message format is called as igmp version 3 in the igmp version 3 we got all three from igmp version 2 which is max response time checksum group address and then some additional section like reserve so it is set zero of sent and ignored when received then s as flag it represent suppress router side processing flag when the flag is set it indicates to suppress the timer updates that multicast router perform upon receiving any query then we got the qrv this represent courier robustness variables means router keeps on retrieving the qrv value from the most recently received query as their own value until the most recently received qrv is set as zero then we got qqic this represents quicker's query interval code then the number of source it represent the number of source address present in the query for general for general query or group specific query this field is zero and for group and source specific query this field is set as non-zero then we have the source address so it represents the ip unicast address for the network field so since in the igmp version 3 it has this type and that type include some a different kind of code that represent the membership a query or membership query type so here you can see that code 0 x 11 is for membership query then 0 x 12 is for igmp version 1 membership report 0 x 16 is for igmp version 2 membership report then 0 x 12 is for igmp version 3 membership report and then we have 0x17 which says for leaving the group here are on the new uh, snap you can see is from wiresack which we can see multicast packet and we can see the multicast ip and also in the ethernet frame in the destination it says ipv4 mcast means ipv4 multicast so it this is how you can look into a packet to identify whether it is a multicast capture multicast log or any other thing and then this next screen so in case of a broadcast message you can see something like this that this will say uh, broadcast and then you will see some fff in the ethernet 2 as destination so that's all tell you about the broadcast message in a log, log capture moving on uh, let's look into it some advantage and disadvantage of igmp 
first advantage so igmp communication protocol efficiently transmit the multicast data to the receiver and so no junk packet are transmitted to the host which shows optimized performance here then we have the bandwidth bandwidth is consumed totally as all the shared links are connected for the multicasting host can leave a multicast group and join group by their own whenever they want that's a benefit of it then the disadvantage so it does not provide good efficiency in filtering and security and due to lack of tcp network congestion can also occur here igmp is quite vulnerable to some attack such as dos or ddos attack so this is all about igmp packet today hope you like the video and it's helpful for you thank you for watching do like share comment and subscribe to the channel thank you for your all support